Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to buy a Minecraft Pocket or Bedrock Edition server. They are one and the same. Minecraft Pocket Edition is Minecraft Bedrock and Minecraft Bedrock Edition is Minecraft Pocket Edition. So that is the exact same thing. So whenever I use Bedrock Edition, I mean Pocket Edition. Whenever I use Pocket Edition, I mean Bedrock Edition. I just wanted to announce that right up front. But we're going to be going through every single step of getting a Minecraft Pocket Edition server purchased. And then I'm going to go through and play it on my phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up on Apex Minecraft hosting here and then join it from our phone. You can actually purchase your server through Apex on your phone. However, I personally, it's just easier for me to record and everything like that on my computer here. So nevertheless, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So the first link down below is going to take you to this page here. This is Apex Minecraft hosting's home page. And when you're here, you just wanna click on this get started button. When you click on that, it will take you over to here where you wanna choose the amount of RAM you want your server to have. As you can see, for most basic servers and some mod packs, two gigabytes is going to be fine. For Bedrock servers, it's going to be fine, two gigabytes as well, most of the time. Once you get over five players or so, I'd probably recommend going to three gigabytes. And then once you get over like 15 or 20 players, you probably wanna go with four gigabytes on your Bedrock server. However, we're gonna go ahead and order now on the two gigabytes. After we do that, it's going to take us off here where we can choose if we want to be billed monthly or quarterly, right? So we can either do quarterly or monthly there. Whichever one you want to do, I'm going to do monthly on this one. Now, your first month will be discounted 25%, right here as you can see. So the first month is discounted to $7.49, and then after that, it's going to be monthly at $9.99. So nevertheless, we want to go ahead and enter our Minecraft username. doesn't matter what you enter in here. I'm just going to enter in a random username that I have there. And then for your optional subdomain, Whatever you want here, it's just going to be like, for example, MCPE Tutorial Server, for example, would work there. Now, for server version, this is what's important. So by default, we're at Java Minecraft 1.15. But what we want is to actually come in here and scroll down, right? So as we scroll down, we'll be able to see Bedrock Edition. So as you can see, Bedrock Dedicated Server. That's what we want to do. We want to click on that. Now, for server location, just click the one that's closest to you. For me, that's going to be the Miami, Florida location right there. And then we can go ahead, you can see, enhance your support. If you do want premium support, you can go ahead and click that there. Apex does have 24-7 support down here in the bottom right. You guys can't really see it, but there's a little chat icon. I clicked on that, and that does open their live chat there. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and just click Add to Cart. So we have a Bedrock server set up with Add to Cart there. And then now we want to go ahead and continue on in the checkout process. As you can see, we do have that 25% off one-time discount code. Click continue there, and here we are. So here I'm gonna go ahead and enter in all the details that are entailed with setting up this server and going through everything. Now, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. In fact, I'm just going to you know, sign up with Facebook and do it that way because it's a lot quicker and a lot easier. So we can go ahead and do that, continue. There we go, boom, that is now signed up. It's entered in most of our information. However, we still, need, still do need to enter in our billing address and then obviously our information to pay at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and click complete order, doing a quick jump cut, and then after that, we'll be good to go. There we go, our server has now been set up. So as you can see, this new information will have your IP server or your Minecraft server information and all that stuff. So you need to look for the email that you will receive titled your new Minecraft server information. It's gonna have all the information in it there. However, there is stuff down here at the bottom on how to get started and get everything set up. So that is pretty cool and it is worth a read. However, I'm gonna be showing you most of it in this video. However, these more in-depth getting started tutorials will show you some things that I am not gonna be showing you in this video, like joining the FTP and things like that. Really and truly though, with a Bedrock Edition server, a vanilla Bedrock Edition server like what we're doing here, you never really have to worry about logging into the server's at back end or anything like that. All right, so here is the email, your new Minecraft server information. And all you need for a Pocket Edition server really is this right here, the IP address address and the port number. So the first number here or the first set of numbers here is the port or is the IP address and then after the colon is the port number. So we're going to go ahead and jump down into our phone here on Minecraft Pocket Edition and join this server. So let me go ahead get the recording set up here and then we'll jump to the phone. All right, so here we are on our phone on Minecraft Pocket Edition here. So if we go ahead and click on play, we'll then be able to click on servers up towards the top right. And then we just wanna click on add server here. Now server name, you can name it whatever. We're just gonna name this Apex Server, right like so. And then for the server address, that's gonna be your IP address. Those are the first set of numbers. In our case, that was 104.128.70. One oh two. So that is our IP address. That's everything before the colon there. And then for the port is everything after the colon. And in our case, that is going to be 25607. So that's going to be after the colon there. And so that is our server address and port number that we've gotten from our email. 
then we can go ahead and click save and if we scroll down to the bottom we do have apex server as we can see that is online it's pulling player numbers so we can go ahead and click on that it does say i must be connected to wi-fi let me go ahead and pull down here and make sure i am connected to wi-fi which i'm not let me connect wi-fi real quick and then we'll be good to go there we go wi-fi is all set up so now i can click on this server it is going to ask me to sign in that's because i've never played on a server yet let me go ahead and sign in to my microsoft account then we'll be good to go this is your first time setting up or playing on a server you will need to create a microsoft account or if you already have one you can log on in as you can see i have logged in here we can go ahead and click let's play and here we are back on like the you know minecraft menus and it's going to go ahead and connect and then after it connects I think it's going to join us right on into the server. Yes, it is. So it's going to join us right on into the server here. And this will be our own server hosted through Apex Minecraft hosting. If you actually do want to log into the cPanel, you can do that on Apex from that email. Just click panel login and use the information there. You can actually go to the console and see this login happening. Now, on the first login, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while uh, because it's setting up your profile. It's making sure everything's working. It's going through that entire process. And that does take some time. But whenever it is done and whenever it is finished, you will be able to see that it is up and running and, and you'll be good to go. You'll be joined on into your server here. So I am now, if we come back over to the console, pulling up the console for this Bedrock server. And then we'll see us join right on in. So there you go. As you can see, we do have player connected daily videos there and it is joining us right on in. I actually did have to click out of that, the you know external server opening there and then open it back up to get that to work but now we are good to go so here we are in minecraft box edition so we'll go ahead and we showed the console there for a second but you were able to see that daily videos did join that is my in-game name i am not good at playing on a pocket edition at all it's not my strong suit but as you can see here we are we're running around we are having a ton of fun and we can you know like break blocks i think it's it's been like i said i am not good with pocket edition there we go <laughs> So um, yeah, excuse my horribleness at playing on Pocket Edition with um, the server. But the server is up and running and it is all good. We are in the most recent version of Minecraft here, so we will have bees and things like that. Mobile version 1.14.1. But um, yeah, there you all have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and enjoy your new Apex Minecraft hosting server. Apex also does have 24-hour, seven-day-a-week support for all of their servers. And you can click on that in the little or in the top or bottom right of all of the pages on Apex's website. You'll be able to see that there. But there's no denying this server is up and running via Apex Minecraft hosting on Minecraft Pocket Edition. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Enjoy your new servers, and I'm out. Peace.